The first things you can use are predefined sets of rules. The combined ones can be used with selection. Select objects first, then click Create and choose where to place the combined dimension. If you go to the Dim Rules tab, you can modify those rules as needed. Just click on the row and change whether objects are attached to axes or which dimension setting to use. Then modify and save, either with this name or a new one you enter here. You also have some more examples, but you'll need to change them before usage. They're here to give you a sense of how all this works. The first two rules are meant to dimension pad footings in both directions, grouped as they are found. Just change this filter to match pad footing parts in your model and choose a dimension setting from Tecla. The last rule creates separate dimensions perpendicular to objects' axes. For me, it's class 440-49. Yours might be different, so modify accordingly. Again, it's just a Tecla model selection filter from your attributes folder. As you notice, each row you add here creates some dimensions for part cuts or single rebars. Based on this filter, it can be separate for each object in any direction, or you can try to combine them. Horizontal and vertical will create one combined dimension as in the basic setting. A long and perpendicular to aligned object is designed to dimension groups of objects that are close by, but not necessarily on one line. For example, anchor bolt groups or pad footings. This distance defines how far apart objects can be and still be considered one group. Section dimensions, on the other hand, create all possible section planes and combine objects on the same plane. Then you set whether objects should be attached to axes, where to place dimensions, and which settings to use. If you have rules along and perpendicular for the same objects, you can link those by enabling this in both rules. There are also some advanced settings which can influence how dimensions are placed. I'll show those in another video. Now you know how it works. Good luck time saving!